Hi children, let's study about data. In your previous classes, you have dealt with various types of data. You have learned to collect the data, tabulate it and put them in the form of bar graph. The collection, recording and presentation of data help us to organize our experiences and draw inferences from them. And in this chapter, we will take one more step towards learning how to do this. And dear children, we have seen so many types of data through magazines, newspapers and televisions and uh, other medias also. And before collecting the data, we have to know that what we use it for. And after collecting the data, we have to make it in a tabular form that is called the organization of data. After that, we have to move through the representatives of data. There are some representative values for a data and the most commonly used representative value is arithmetic mean and the arithmetic mean can be founded by sum of all observations divided by total number of the observation. So the formula for finding arithmetic mean is sum of all observations divided by the total number of observations that is Arithmetic mean that is AM equal to sum of all observations divided by total number of observations. Sum of all observations divided by total number of observations. Now we can do some problems. The first question. A child got the following marks for a test conducted in the school. The marks are 15, 18, 12, 20 and 25. Calculate the arithmetic mean of these marks. That is the question. And we know that the formula for finding the arithmetic mean equal to sum of all observations divided by total number of observations. That we can write first. AM equal to sum of all observations Divided by total number of observations. Here the marks are 15, 18, 12, 20 and 25. That is these are the observations. So observations are observations. 15, 18, 12, 20 and 25. And the number of observations. How many numbers are here? Number of observations. One, two, three, four, five. Five subjects are there. So five marks. So, the number of observations is equal to 5. So, what is arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean equal to sum of all observations. 15 plus 18 plus 12 plus 20 plus 25 divided by the number of observations 5. So, when we add, we will get 19 divided by 5. So, what will we get when we divide 90 by 5? So we can do like this, simple division method, 5 in 9, only 1 time, 1, 5, 5. Then when we subtract, we will get 4. Then in 40, 8 fives are 40. So when we subtract, we will get 0. So what is the answer we got? 18. This is the arithmetic mean of these marks. So don't forget the formula for finding arithmetic mean is sum of all observations divided by total number of observations. Next question, find the mean of the first five whole numbers. So in order to do that problem, you have to know that what are whole numbers. What is a whole number? Whole numbers are 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So we have to start from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Whole numbers. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc. Okay. And next one, which are the first five whole numbers? First five whole numbers. They are zero, one, two, three. And 4. So these are the first 5 whole numbers. Now what is the formula for finding arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean equal to sum of all observations divided by total number of observations. AM equal to sum of all observations divided by Total number of observations. Now we have to add all these numbers. 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by total number of observations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 observations are given. Divide by 5. So when we add we will get 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. 10 divided by 5. So the answer is 2. That is arithmetic mean of the first 5 whole numbers equal to 2. Next we are going to study about range. Range is also a form of representative value. So we will get range by finding the difference between the highest observation and the smallest observation. So when you get a data, first you have to arrange that in ascending order. And from that, it's very easy to select the greatest one and the smallest one. Then find the difference between the two numbers. Now we can do one problem. Here I have written some data. And these are the ages of 10 teachers in a school. And the ages are 28, 45, 32, 48, 35, 30, 49, 55, 27 and 29. So what is the range of these years? We know that range equal to highest observation minus lowest observation. So, dear children, what we have to do first? First, we have to arrange the given numbers in ascending order. Ascending order is the arrangement of numbers from smallest to greatest. So, which will be the smallest number here? 27. And the next number is 28. Next, which number will come? It is 29. Next, which number will come? It is 30. After that, which number will come? 32. Next number is 35. After that, which number will come? It is 45. After that, 48. After that, 49. And the last number is 55. From this it is very clear that 27 is the smallest number and 55 is the greatest number. The smallest number is 27 and the greatest number is 55. We know that range equal to highest observation minus lowest observation. That is range equal to Highest observation minus lowest observation. It's equal to highest observation here it is 55. 
So, 55 minus, which is the lowest observation here? It is 27. So, 55 minus 27, that's equal to 28. So, what is the formula for finding the range of given observations? It is highest observation minus lowest observation. It is the difference between the highest observation and the lowest observation.